Rauschenberger will have a holder here as he boots it away to Kenny Logan and Jamal Horn. And the win will carry that. Williams is the guy first and foremost. And they have two very good receivers to turn to. Play and got this offense on. Of course, all into the first year of Les Miles and the handoff. Looking at a third and nine, all kinds of movement and a hit on the quarterback. James Lockhart. Defense. And that was Lockhart who was the guy offside. So against the three-man pressure, the real route right here to Puka. A mid-season replacement after the, the offense was stagnant for a while. On second down, gets it out to Lassiter. And they will both go to the top of the screen. Stanley looking that way all the way, has his man. And Robinson. Lassiter again gets a nice block from Robinson behind Stanley. And he'll run it for a couple up the middle. He was the head coach there, just unbelievable offensive mind. See a little bit in late so far with Kansas. Stanley and his... Stanley looking deep, now in trouble and sacked. Ten foe. Three-man pressure. Underneath Brewer out there at quarterback. He got hurt last week in the Texas win, but he will get the start. He'll hand it off to John Levitt. And a big pledge per game. Brewer will step up against the four-man pressure and along the sideline. Brewer with the wind behind him and down the middle and caught him. They like the redshirt freshman's legs, and here he goes. What a drive. Boy, and just the start. Baylor was able to cruise downfield. Just one loss for the Gophers as well, hoping to face Ohio State. Eyes, great combination as a pass rusher and run stopper. A pass underneath. Eyes is really impressive. Had to replace Clay Johnston after he got hurt mid-season. It's hard enough to do with two hands, let alone one. No doubt. Kyle Thompson, the punter, into the wind, and look how the wind grabs that and holds it right up. Out of bounds, outside the 40-yard line. His highest 17 here early in the game, so wind definitely a factor today. And wind ate it on the touchdown pass. <laughs> Extra point is good. 51 yards for the touchdown after the short punt. Uh, again, it's you know, they're clearly the two best teams. We'll get Kansas out to their 36-yard uh, line. Play action. At a national championship there, they are recruiting both the Big 12 and the SEC footprints. Next year. They'll go four wide here on third and ten. Time for Stanley. And, the, uh, and set up Baylor nicely. This one lower end over end. And Kansas will be able to down this uh, right around the 25. And of course the rating ranks football players by the impact they make on the field. Cleveland back is Hasty number six. They really like what he can bring to the table. Brewer. Hasty gave him a nice block to buy some time. Brewer looking out that way. And the catch is made for first down. Already hit the century mark through the air on just uh, four completions. And looking to add to it here, another deep ball. Second down. And they'll set him up the receiver screen. Ebner going to backtrack. He's got some blockers headed the other way. Across midfield for Tristan Ebner. Another switch to Gary Bohannon here at quarterback. And the end around. 6'3", 220. Sticks it into the belly of Hasty. With R.J. Sneed in motion, he will throw it to him per play. Brewer going for the end zone, looking for Mims. Kansas into the red zone for Baylor. This is Jamichael Hasty. The bounce to the outside. Touchdown. They've had the ball for just over five and a half minutes. And all three resulting in touchdowns. Couple runs. Had a lot of Raider fans on my flight in for the big game. Must have that nose tackle position in Braving Roy is one of the best. Stanley, they'll try and run for it. And a good surge. Fullback here. Short yardage. Williams. And he is stuffed. 
Brewer will stay in there at quarterback. The handoff is to love it. Corral. He has one of their rushing scores today. This is Ebner trying to get around the five things to go their way. And first and foremost is winning out. They've got to beat Kansas and then beat Oklahoma next week. Bohannon on first and 10. Gives it to Ebner. On second down, Bohannon keeps inside the 10. They're really presenting problems early on the Kansas defense. Bohannon again. Brewer to throw back shoulder. Mims almost came up. Looking again, same play for Mims. Kick into the wind. If those things happen uh, with Ohio State and LSU, which we all anticipate happening, can they still get in if they win out, beat Oklahoma and Utah and Alabama? On that occasion, by the way, did the Buckeyes. And the CFP game against a team that a lot of teams right now have beat. There's a lot of things, there's no question, but. Uh, and I don't think people see. Range. I don't know if beating Oklahoma would have been enough to just jump all those teams in front of them. So it really lays out nice for the Big 12 and this conference. Alabama, by the way, just went up on Auburn 10 to 7. Tational in overtime beat Dayton. And at a number four ranking for the basketball. Had the red zone and then came out of the game replaced by Brewer. Actually, they. 24-0, Baylor out in front. The number nine beers from one and 11 now, trying to win here today to go 11 and one. Somewhere where he can go and prove that the style, the way they teach the kids and what they're doing really truly. Triple overtime win. And then last week after the OU loss, they beat Texas for the first time. And Brewer incomplete. The community of Waco and, and everything that's offered. And, they got an AD and uh, a president that's on board to building. They got renderings for a new football facility. During the play, the ball did touch Kansas player's hand first, and then it was recovered by the kicking team. It's first down, Baylor. Back. Ebner gets the edge inside the 20. Field, top of your screen. Brewer looking. Ebner breaks the tackle with the seven touchdown. 31-0, they only needed three plays there to go 30 yards. Mauling Kansas right now, 5.41 to go. And how about uh, the things that need to happen for Baylor to get into the playoff? Well, they haven't happened just yet. Although uh, Ohio... And his backup quarterback this afternoon. Carter Stanley dropped. It's a parchment and Robinson and the way Stanley was playing. I mean, they just haven't been able to generate really anything today. And the firepower of Baylor has just taken this game over early on. And you can see how it's kind of shut down Kansas on all aspects. We won a national championship. Three losses by a total of 12 points. They've been one of the players in this university. Brewer hit on the throw in a long, long time. And it's coming. Brewer in trouble and he's sacked. Isaac Powers punt. It was a good one. Back into Kansas territory. SEC's got some pretty solid defenses to, uh, to a football team, especially at home. Williams out of the backfield. And back inside his own 10. High end over end, and Arnold with the fair catch. It remains to be seen the status of Gary Bohannon, though, who was hurt earlier in the game. They try and set up the screen, and Charlie's 10 for 19, 161 yards and the touchdown. Third and 10, Thornton will have to try and do it on his own. Logan muffs it, and Baylor's got it. First and 10, Brewer, sideline. 
Brewer deep down the middle. His receiver wasn't looking for it. And the bobble by Rick. Is it now eight? We're dead last in the country coming in. Well, they'll come out slinging it here. It's a real way to produce him except being in the right spot and executing. First half. Dumping it off for Puka Williams. For his size, he is a big time player. Across the middle, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Henry Black in the return. Yeah, that was a shot he took. So now the seventh possession of this quarter for Baylor. And a chance for more points. Hasty, no timeouts here for the Bears. Brewer looking to the end zone. Brewer looking for Hasty. A touchdown. 24 yard attempt. John Mayer's got it. Don't forget, we got halftime coming up, all the latest, and they will go ahead and uh, bounce this one on the carpet. So the time will expire. Kenny Logan trying to make something big happen here. He's breaking tackles and a good return. Playing in a game that's tough in an environment like this. And your hope is to not only win the game, but also play some in the first half. Got hurt, came out of the game. We did not see him return, but now Gary back out there for the third quarter. Jamichael Hasty with the big run. The season, it was their best player at linebacker, and he's still a raw player learning the position. Hasty, good patience, nice change of direction. Now run it again, Ebner. A couple of nice moves for him. This changes the style of play for Baylor. They're gonna run the ball 100% of the time so far. So you gotta dial. Ebner. There it is. Another nice move to bounce to the outside, the cutback. Sit back, ready for the cutback, and you're right in the position. Hasty, close to their season average for yards on the ground. Uh, all on the ground here to open up the third quarter. Hasty breaking tackles. Open the game, they score on their first possession to start out. The uh, football is well Not back in the Pro there. Football Hall of Fame, uh, no sir. pretty big name. No I mean, sir. Yeah, I just figured I'd go with it. <laughs> Out of the timeout, Carter Stanley slings it downfield and it's intercepted at the 40-yard line. They've got it back. Effectively, we're able to run, uh, but also a senior, a guy that they would have loved to have taken a look at a little bit more, Thomas McVitty. So I just, you know, to me, I just felt like it should be going right now in the second half. Receivers out there. Uh, Denzel Mims, we haven't seen him yet in this third quarter. This is Ebner out of the backfield about one of the biggest uh, weeks of preparation in a long time for Baylor. It's just a 3% chance. Get closer to uh, the women's volleyball tournament. Uh, as you can see, the championships. Women's hoops is number two in basketball, uh, men's basketball. A lot of information can be uh, placed in front of this the season. Inside, use power. He's got an excellent swim move. Uh, he is definitely a disruptor. He is going to be a factor for them if they want to win the game. Oh boy. Blake Lynch has it the other way. Story right now for all these turnovers today. Hasty. <laughs> First quarter. Bohannon will keep. And he'll take it. Hasty, nice cutback, Jamichael Hasty. 12 carries, 90 yards, and now Baylor is a team. Baylor is off to the Big 12 championship game in Arlington, Texas against Oklahoma. Touchdowns for Hasty to tie his career high. And it's Puka Williams, it is. So it's an all miles set here for KU. Uniforms that they're wearing today, Military Appreciation Day. the second level, running through a man. We're gonna have Miles. Williams adding to his total. Nice spin to break attack. You know, LSU to start all the years there in the season. But Puka, I tell you, you know, it, it's unfortunate we weren't any guys could do. Well, he's just as, as resilient and, and as a player as they are. Gardner with a... Try Gardner again, and Baylor swarming and gets to him. 
Thomas, look at the throw, pressure coming. Whirls away from it. Back of the end zone, caught, touchdown! Looking left, now stepping up. And down he goes. Moment, a good season to be able to share with your two sons for Coach Les Miles. Baylor with the big lead today and some developments around the country in favor in front of Baylor in the rankings this week are losing right now. Position, you know, I'm still in awe of how they actually jump up. Be on ABC next Saturday. Takes a couple of nice Baylor bounce. Big day for Baylor, 41 to six over Kansas. Right now, we have uh, Oklahoma's a seven and a nine, right? For, but Baylor, and I think an Oklahoma are in a good position now where they can kind of, I don't think a lot, you know, you're year in and year out, you're gonna have a really good conference. Uh, you, your conference may be down the following year, back and forth you go. I, I, I just think winning a championship should should mean defensively is going to be the big key to the game with both of these football out here and how they actually turned them over Beth and, and becoming they have to display courage on the football field yeah they, uh, they will say I will know and do my job and thinking Rocky I'm going back to my middle school days <laughs> doing hit -ems. he had to do 15 of those things <laughs> to warm up or something <laughs> no not fun at all <laughs> you know what it is? It's almost like the offense had two Oh, good. He's going to do one. See, this is what we're talking about. This is you get some cancers. They didn't have a lot of that, and I think that just bodes well for the coaching staff. Well, one and eleven. Well, numbers uh, one, three, and four already victorious. ESPN quarterbacks for pro uh, pocket pro passers. As the transition continues for Matt Rule and uh, one of the great turnarounds in college football, not only take home the trophy, but be headed to the college football playoff where Oklahoma has been the last two years. Back first half, second half, just one. Kind of allow some, some rush lanes open up, especially in the middle. You game, I saw a different Jalen Hurts. You know, even though they won the game, just some turnovers, some decision making. He really puts a lot of game. I just, I, I just see that Baylor right now has a lot of good players. I tell you, if they win it, and win it handily, I'd say 10 points. If they can win by 10. In particular, when Baylor and TCU thought they had a shot at it, the very first year of the playoff. TD for Quaylen Jones, and it is 55. Stick around, we've got number two LSU coming up, hosting Texas A&M in Death Valley tonight. Well, if Alabama, oh, Alabama loses, Alabama yeah, could have two teams. Seven. Georgia would then be the only one that could really mess things up if they shocked LSU, and then you might have two SEC teams get in. Another turnover and six takeaways. And another quarterback is out there, and that's number 17. Run to the end. I just don't think that game's going to be close, bad. I mean, Texas A&M is 7 4. They haven't played. But you remember that adversity they had? Actually, in Texas, he had to come back and make some big yeah. plays for him. He was as smooth as ice. So I had just... Kansas team that was competitive the last couple of weeks. Oh, boy. And they, uh, they missed fire on the, on the attempt. This week. We just had some malfunctions. Yes. Yeah. Trying to spice up here in the last couple minutes. Of Dom Williams with the. On the scramble for Miles. He wanted to recruit the style of players that he's been recruiting, recruiting when he was at LSU. About a time. He said the most important thing is the culture, and of course he has the championship. <laughs> Keeper for Manny. And he chooses not to.
the Hubbard is, is probably a guy, yep. you know, he's going to be over maybe tonight. Too. Puka, a nice spin, getting down inside. And Miles going to try and throw for it. But now we'll roll out. He'll cut back inside at the five. Miles sacked. And they will not be able to get off another snap, and that'll do it.